सो कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी से जो मैसेज आया है वो जय हिंद Emergency that the occupation has imposed, 
The right to free expression, like the activist in Indian University, seemed to advocate has never been a possibility. Yet, people express themselves courageously in defense of India's nationalist court and they truly defend this practice by putting their lives at risk of it. In this brutal discourse, the Indian state apparatus threats all Kashmiris in the manner of combatants. This exchange, while often fatal, is also seen as a compliment by most Kashmiris who have become bold in flaunting their emotional, cultural and territorial differences from India. Life is precious than those who live under continuous gaze of the barrel of the gun who is worth more than anyone else. What happened to Rohit Vemula and other of his life must not happen to anyone. However, at the same breath we inform you not like you, uh, uh, you, not like you were by your media houses that 126 youth were haunted on the street of the state in 2010 and only and I know you have not yet heard of uh, Shaista Hamid and Danish Farooq. Shaista was recent graduate in her early 20s and Danish a university student in his late teens. The two were shot dead by government force in Kashmir the day before Modi regime started its attacks against JNU students. We have sacrificed men, women and children in lakhs in the most inhuman way. A child thrown in air and shot by the government mercenaries is how India plays an inclusive, inclusively exclusive politics. This is the paradise where all hell has been let loose. In his brutal discourse, the Indian state apparent threats all Kashmiris in the manner of combatants. This exchange, while often fatal, is also seen as a compliment by most Kashmiris who have become bold in plotting their emotional, cultural and territorial difference from India. Uh, while you copy our dialects of demanding Asadi, next time you shout it, remember the slogan came from Kashmir. And Asadi for them is right to self-determination. To add, at the end, I will reiterate what we, Kashmir University Students Union, said when JNU PSO was unfolding. We stand in support to individuals, organizations, civil society members, intellectuals and all those who stand in support of, a, support of our right to self-determination promised by India, first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru in the heart of Srinagar, Lal Chowk, Chow, on whose name JNU was formed. In your struggle, you have received immense support from people beyond territorial and cursed nation state boundaries of India and we with our deepest condolences may be added to the same list. The same day, uh, frothing TV journalists were holding court materials against Umar Khalid and Kanaya Kumar. The news of Shaistas and Danish cold-blooded murder was quietly suppressed. Part of a larger history of suppression which makes a certain kind of national consent possible in India. The two were not armed, but they were protesting the terror unleashed by troops in the villages and they wanted to protect a fellow youth who among many now have yet again been forced to give their lives to end the occupation. They don't know JNU was ringing with slogans for Kashmir rights the day they died, nor did JNU know that their protest against the silence on Kashmir had become more imperative than ever.